Any further ado? Frank, take it away. <laughs> well, Debbie asked me to uh, do some uh, Christmas things, and uh, I do make a lot of Christmas things. I'll pass this around right quick, but uh, in short order, I'm going to want it back because it's going to be a pattern. I'm going to try to turn the the other uh, half of that. And uh, to start with, little safety, safety glasses for our home in the shop and doing something where I was going to have a lot of dust flying, which we won't have tonight. I'd be wearing a mask. So safety glasses, mask. If you're going to be a big piece, get a shield. Uh, but uh, uh, this piece of wood, Randy, this is a piece of that that you brought to that turning club, and I think you said it was uh, Brazilian uh, cherry or something like that. So uh, that's what, what this is, and that's what, what the little uh, earpiece is there. So uh, I'm going to try to duplicate, almost duplicate that. It won't be exact, but it'll, it'll be close. So it's just trimming and, and turning now. This stuff is hard. I use really high-tech tools whenever I'm trying to measure to to trim down. This is a 15 sixteenths uh, or 9 sixteenths wrench and uh, this is going to be the top, the cap that goes onto that. for me to talk and turn at the same time. Does anybody else have that problem? To get the insert in the cap that the little, the bottom of that uh, uh, earring fits in, I take a 3 8 inch uh, bit and just uh, bore in just enough to where I can have a little, turn a little bit of hollow off the side to make an eave for the house, and uh, then, then I do the top.
have to be a little careful in there or you're going to pull the eve off your house. Don't want to do that. And I forgot to bring my tailpiece, and I hope I don't split this out. A key thing whenever you're making these on this cap is before you turn it down to where you're going to uh, turn it off, you got to bore a hole through there for the little bitty eye screw that goes in it. So another high-tech high tool, small nail. Couple of times. Uh, lighting is terrible, guys. But we'll make it work. Just go in and cut that little dome. You want to be careful right in here. Not you're going to start over again because you're going to make a little bitty funnel. I don't know, is that about the right place? So that's that's the cap that's going to go on the other. Now the other high-tech tool is a 3 8 inch uh, spacer, caliper. Now I have to hollow out the uh, the birdhouse, and here I use a quarter inch bit and bore down before you.
bore it out though. Where is that little earring? I need I need that in order to try to measure about where the bird hole goes. It won't be exact opposite, but it'll be close enough. Now, Joanne can attest to this. If you happen to be out in the wind with one of these, and the wind's just right, it'll whistle for you. <laughs> we were, when we were RVing, we were up in Ohio one day at Stopped at a Walmart for supplies, came out walking back to the trailer, and Joanne kept saying, where's that whistle? Where's that? I said, I don't hear one. She says, well, I do. Well, finally it dawned on us that if she'd turn her head just right, it'd sound like a little sound coming out of that earring like blowing in a Coke bottle. So, uh, the... This gets a little bit warm, as you can see. But it doesn't. There, I'm down below the hole, so I can quit drilling now. Before you start cutting the rest of the piece, yeah, that'll fit. It fits just right. This one's going to have a little, little wormhole in it, just above the, uh, the bird hole, and that's where that screw that had been in there before was. But it won't hurt it. I'll put a little, little wax on that to darken that up so it'll be dark like the top, or, or a little darker anyway. Here again, you want to get down just below that that bird hole that I bored in there, or you're going to have another little bitty funnel. It's wiggling a little more than I'd like for it to, but 
We'll make it. So there's a companion piece. Putting the companion pieces together is pretty easy. A little shot of a uh, fixer. A little bit of, I guess I ought to be over here so you can see something. Just a small bead of thick CA glue on the top of that. And wait a couple of minutes, seconds. That'll set up pretty quick. These little eyelets that I use on, on the earrings, I order from a outfit up in uh, Minnesota called Mizell Hardware or Measle Hardware. They have all kinds of patterns for all kind of, of yard decorations and stuff. And they have all kind of, of hardware that goes with cabinet making and all. And, these these screws and this is the only place that, that I have found that I can get these little bitty screws now my uh, my nail hole is just a little too big for the screw but it's the smallest nail I have so good old drop of super glue and let that set a few seconds And while that's setting up, take the earpiece. Is that a good slot for the for the earpiece? You get the earpieces either at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. Uh, they have them in silver and in gold, and uh, you can you can use either one. I just happen to put gold on the other one. And what you do is you open up this little eyelet just a little bit. Because you're going to squeeze it back down again after you put it on the birdhouse. And you want to put it on so that the hole in the birdhouse goes to the outside of the ear whenever the lady's wearing her, her earpiece. As I say, the light is terrible. You know, one of the other things we might use some of that money for is to buy one, uh, one of those magnetic lights to, to use here because it's, uh, yeah, yeah, I got it. So that is the other half of the earring, earring set. So, uh, Got it? 
Okay. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you is how I, how I make my uh, birdhouse uh, ornaments, and uh, I'm going to do it just a little bit of housekeeping here. Several of you have seen uh, the uh, burr oak uh, things that I've made. Uh, and I'm uh, going to use some burr oak caps again tonight. Uh, And we'll do the bird feeder first and get it out of the way. Uh, at the ark, we have a, a burr oak that sits right next to a pond. And it gets all the water and the roots that it needs. And we get caps uh, this big off of it. And uh, Kay and, and uh, Buddy have brought some from one of their neighbors, which are more this size. Sometimes whenever you're working with these things, those caps are so deep that you uh, you have to change your, uh, have to put a little piece of wood in there to uh, get a spacer in there. Either that or you're, you're going to be way above your, or down on, onto your birds, and that's, that's not good. Uh, on the birds, I buy these little birds from uh, Hobby Lobby. They happen to be in the dollhouse section. They come uh, in a packet of 12 birds. And uh, I use a lot of them. <laughs> uh, so uh, I've, I've put half of them on this, this one so, so it won't take so long. But... Uh, I don't know whether you can see right here or not. Can you see that bird? Can you can you see that bird? I, I take a Dremel tool with a little circular rasp uh, tool that goes on it, and I dig out a little uh, vacancy in there to set on on the uh, on the post, and uh, uh, that way it fits down on there. And whenever it uh, sets up, it, it, it's put. It's pretty tight. And these are easier to put on. Sometimes you get a little messy. Sometimes you get CA on your fingers. Uh, but uh, and I train my birds. You'll notice it on, on, on this one and all, all the ones. Uh, th they're all facing the same direction. I, I train them to go to the bird feeder that way. Uh, it's, it's, they're easier to put on that way. And whenever you spray on time, the vendor gets to keep whatever he makes or they make. Uh, we have ladies that have... Uh, so that's a full birdhouse. Bird feeder. Hold it up again. This way. Okay. I think this is where do you get the two? Boy, there's a place over here on. Um, uh, Josephine, uh, San Antonio Plastic Supply. Uh, I uh, looked all over the internet and I called all the big supply places. Well, we don't carry that too, but we can order it and all. And finally, I got down the list to uh, the plastic supply place over there. Yeah, we had it. So I went down. 
this is one inch tubing. Uh, they have two different thicknesses of, of the uh, tubing. Uh, I first bought the thin, and it splits and cracks on you real bad. Uh, this is not so bad. Uh, this is inch and a half, which you'll see here in a minute. Uh, so now I'm getting ready to put the cap on the on the bird feeder. They have an interesting scrap pile at Josephine, uh, called the uh, plexiglass plate, and I've gotten two inch thick slabs in small pieces, and they turn beautifully. And with a real sharp screw, skew, you don't do anything to them. They're crystal clear. I didn't know they had a scrap pile. When you go in the door, in the door, door right. Right. Okay. <laughs> I'll do. The last one I got was and by, two by the way, two on, on, on the drill bits, they have... Down. Could, yeah, I want it finished. That's what I use. Uh, they have drill bits that are made for drilling plastic. They, uh, the angle of the bit is cut different. So it's, uh, it goes on. Uh, you, you're not going to split them out. The first ones I used, I didn't have one of those plastic bits. And I split a bunch of the uh, uh, tubing out. San Antonio Plastics, I think. It's, it's called San Antonio Plastics. Josephine? Yeah, it's 318 West Josephine. Yeah, right. We're talking to the bar. Take the exit to Josephine Street uh, Restaurant. What is that place? It looks like it's falling down. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Take a right, and it's on your left about two blocks down. It's 318 uh, West Josephine. 318. And you can, get, you can get bird seed of, of all different kinds. I just went down to, to Lowe's and bought a, a sack of bird seed, picked out the big pieces of peanut and corn and stuff like that. And uh, so now we're getting about ready to feed the birds. First ones uh, of these that I did, I drilled two holes in here, one for the perch and one for the bird seed. Bird seed <laughs> kept coming out, so I had to, had to close those up. That'll set here pretty quick. On these uh, caps, those burrow, if you want to paint them or dye them with something, put about three coats of uh, sand and sealer on them. If you don't, I don't know what the, I don't know what's in the cap that does crazy things to the to the colors of, of the paint. I, I painted one red without putting it on, and it turned ungodly colors, and so. Then I decided I'd put about three coats of sand and sealer on it, and it held the red just fine. And you can also, uh, on that, some of them I did this year, uh, I painted them red and put uh, silver glitter on top of them. So, uh, that's, uh, Gene, there's a, there's a bird feeder. The other type of ornament that's fun to make, and pretty uh pretty cheap quite to the way <coughs> or or a nesting birdhouse and say I use one and a half inch uh, tubing for that take an old piece of mesquite or whatever you might have drill one uh, with a forcer bit one and a half inch forcer bit that fits just right and uh, so you can do that. 
Now, in order to keep the bird sitting on the perch or on the on the nest, you you have to give the nesting bird uh, a little incentive to stay there. So I use an upholstery tack that I push the bird down on once I put the uh, the nest in. Uh, if not, the bird will flop all over the place, and you uh, <laughs> you're going to be having a bird land over here or over here or something. So we uh, we do that differently. So now I will put the shortly I'll put the nest together. Same thing, put a little fast juice on there, let it set, it'll set up with that bead of caulk, or bead of thick CA glue pretty quick, like that's already set, it's up so I can go to work. Now, we have uh, some clumps of pampas grass out at the heart, and uh, I, uh, Went over and took a head off and cut it up to start making the, the bottom of the nest. And it makes the stuff that, that head cut up makes pretty good uh, <coughs> nesting material. And you put a little, a little coarse grass down in it, and then right up next to the shop, the uh, laundry room, big commercial dryers there, and and uh, get all kind of lint. <laughs> if not, you can use lint out of the uh, out of your. Uh, dryer at home. Uh, so <laughs> it's kind of funny that this stuff has string and hair and everything else that it comes in from a comes out of the laundry. But uh, too much <laughs> it's been through <clears throat> 185 degree water and and the washing machine washing uh, machines and. And then the dryer, so I don't think there's many many germs left on it. So, uh, uh, and then you, you take your little bird, You see that? There. There you go. You want to see the inside of it? That's cute. And I ha I've made these with three or four different sized birds. There's some. It, the, these little cardinals that I have, I got off the internet. But the uh, Hobby Lobby and, and Michaels have some little birds that are about twice the size of. of these cardinals that I have, and they have a lot of feathers flaring out in there. They make a really neat one. So, uh, with that, <coughs> it's time to. Uh, we got the nesting bird in. Time to put the cap on. Wait a minute for it to set. And while that's setting, 
Let it do. Go down and get the other bird. Get him ready to put on the perch. By the way, these little birds are mushroom birds. They're made out of uh, styrofoam. The, those little ones in the bird feeder, those are made out of clay. And with, you have a mama bird sitting on a nest and the papa bird watching over on the outside. So How did you cut the tubing? Bandsaw. Bandsaw. That with a 16 teeth per inch. And it, you know, just, I bite in four foot strips and measure it off in two inches. And it zoom, zoom, zoom. And but uh, there's a, there's a nesting bird. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, that's it.